Hey everyone, and welcome back to my completionist playthrough of Diablo 2 on Hardcore. And I'm not looking forward to recording this, because some of the most difficult battles so far await us in this episode. We're going into the truest of danger zones, where things can go horribly wrong. But let's at least try to keep a positive outlook about all this. <laughs> it's like, oh hey look, the sewers. There will probably be dolls for us to play with. How fun. Yeah, there they go. Emilio, save me! <laughs> and of course I am going to try and fight some stuff along the way, but hopefully not too many of these monsters are going to chase us around. And of course this is going to be an expansive level. I shouldn't be fighting monsters with fanaticism aura, of all things, but... They are sneaking up on us from every direction. I think if we do this methodically, we can get these special groups killed here and kind of be content with our performance on this first level of the sewers. There you go. And let's keep on exploring. Here we have the chest. I am pretty tense in this act. <laughs> in all of these different areas that this act has to offer. But we have to press on. Alright, there we go. Here's our friend, Icehawk Riftwing. Alright, let's let's not allow these guys to escape. And let us descend into the second level of the sewers and take this one carefully as well. Because there can be some special guys here. Including the dolls again. Doesn't seem like they wanted to spawn. And I guess that's that's it. Let's not prolong our stay in the sewers. And instead just travel into Upper Karast now that we have Kaleem's heart. I did pick it up, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we just need to find a waypoint. And we're going to be all good. And now we're already kind of mentally preparing for Travancall. Can warm up thrashing those thrashers. special group, whatever. Alright, these guys are more worthy of our attention. Alright. And another Saigon's pair. I'm not even going to taint our stash with it. <laughs> Let's just get rid of this uh, Amplify Damage and refill our scrolls while we're at it. And keep on going. Being on the lookout for that waypoint. Alright guys, don't you think it would be better if you just stood and fought like a man? <laughs> Instead of doing all this running around before you inevitably die. There we go. Alright, cross causeway. Let's fight these guys. There can be a special group sometimes here, but 
that's uh, been pretty poor when it comes to some of these areas, like sewers too and causeway. When it comes to the special groups, they don't really want to appear all that much. Anyway, here in Travancore, let us first clear out some space. Because uh, one of the main fights in this episode is about to occur. I don't mean this, of course. We these guys, Dragon Grumble. You are going to be hard to take down, considering your immunities. But yeah, now that Emilio is on the on the job, let's hope we can he can snipe that healer. All right, there we go. And uh, yeah, let's make sure to get rid of all of these healers and any nasty groups that might be present in the vicinity so that they don't interfere with our plans here and right, there you go finally my dude hope you enjoyed that last jog Some potential wealth in some of the items that have dropped here and there, but you know, I'm just already so focused on what's to come. I won't even get distracted by picking up any any one of these puny items. Alright, I think this is going to be kind of the last group we're going to clean up here. And once we get rid of that amplify damage, we're also going to pick up a special item from our stash. That uh, we have prepared for just such a purpose as this upcoming uh, council fight. Because of course now we're going to have to face off right, Nickard Kane. Be quiet for a moment. Uh, we have this weapon prepared. This is something that you traditionally use for special missions. And that council fight that is coming up is going to be just such an occasion. And uh, here, of course, the main property of it is that uh, slow, that massive slow it uh, afflicts the target by. Of course, the most notable monsters aren't going to be afflicted by its entire 75, but it's still going to be a, a powerful slow that in combination with Holy Freeze or some of our cold damage and spells is going to make sure to uh, massively uh, slow down the, the monster in question. Uh, but in our specific case, this weapon also has an additional benefit in the form of that 50 fire res. Because if we take a look at Emilio's resistances, they are still suboptimal. They are not as bad as they used to be uh, when we started uh, our progression on hell, because uh, Emilio leveled up quite a few times since then. But 48 fire resistance is not going to be enough uh, where we're going. So uh, I think this is going to be a worthy switch. Uh, we're going to give him Kelpie Snare for now. Uh, and still hold on to insight. Of course, this switch means that we're going to lose our meditation aura, but that's okay. We're just going to use our mana potions the good old-fashioned way. And uh, here, of course, having something like obedience, ideally in an elite weapon, uh, would have been great, but we have to make do with what we have. And it should be fine. I think uh, also the damage decrease coming from Kelpie Snare is not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, his maximum damage is going to be lower, but it's not going to be as big of a difference as it would have been if we had insight on an elite polearm, for example. But uh, anyway, here of course we're, we care about Emilio's fire resistance because of the Hydra spam that uh, these um, council members are going to offer us. And of course uh, the additional layer of safety granted by that uh, slow is also going to come in handy, I think. Anyway, council clowns, playtime is over. It would be nice to be able to lure them out. And you usually can do it that way. Come on, guys. All right, there they go. Yeah, Melio is still going to take some damage. Of course, he is very stationary once he starts fighting, so he's going to be eating a lot of these Hydra projectiles. And, uh, unless we teleport him out of trouble, that is. Alright, 
Some other guys coming out. None of the named ones so far. All right, there comes Galeb. I'm going to get rid of that amplify damage in a moment. We still have two named guys and a few of these regular council members to take care of. Alright, here's... Okay, that's, that didn't last long. <laughs> Not having that amplified damage. But anyway, things are proceeding fine so far. Alright, Torque. Come here, my dude. Alright. Yeah, let's try to knock him back this, this way. Alright, here I think it might be even worth it to switch uh, to Insight for just a moment just so that he can do more damage as this is our only hope everything is in the hands of Emilio alright there we go this switch is a little cumbersome but that's what we have to do and of course that conviction aura ruins our whole plan with uh, the fire res but it would have been even worse if we didn't have kelpie snare that 50 fire res actually perhaps it comes in handy more than i initially uh, initially kind of stated but anyway now all of them are dead we have our quest finished and uh, now let's just do this like that. All right, let's come back for our insight and now we're actually going to equip Emilio with insight but uh, we are going to hold on to it. We are going to uh, take it with us. Stay a while and listen. All right, let's see what we've got there. All right not much. Uh, that's Rejuve we can actually take with us as well. All right, and now everyone's favorite part, the Durance of Hate. <laughs> oh man, actually fighting through this place. Oh wow, <laughs> we actually got the, the exit right away. I am going to stay on this level for just a little bit longer just so that we can kill maybe a more notable group but I am not going to look into this gifts horse horse's mouth uh, too much I guess because it, it is insane to stay here having such an easy exit it's like oh yeah I want to stay for longer endurance of hate I haven't quite had enough of it <laughs> of course this is such a lovely place because um, on every level there can be dolls Okay, but not on this one, so I guess it's not too bad that we stay here. And of course, here I am trying to static this, these lightning immune guys. Snot Skull makes another appearance. They really love that name here in Act 3, it seems. Alright, let's proceed to the second level. Let's not uh, try our luck too much. Oh, no man. Alright. Emilio this way. <laughs> We've gone over this, Emilio. Our battle tactics are such that you are in the front, not me. Isn't this ridiculous how we are at the mercy of this, like, little bone doll? Right, I am going to be heading left where we need to go. Okay, there was a special group there. Let's just kill those guys and kind of be satisfied with how we've done here. All right, they're streaming in nicely one by one. I 
Let's also make sure Emilio has a nice steady supply of potion. Potion healing. Alright. Let's keep exploring. Let's not have our teleports be cut so much. That would be nice. Alright, there's there's some more stuff to clear out here and And then we'll be done, I guess. <laughs> I keep pushing our our luck. Maybe too much. Oh yeah, I so want to fight these dolls. Just can't wait to encounter more of these groups. Anything special? Unfortunately not. Where is this waypoint? You know, for a moment I wanted to stop there and kill some guys, but... Nah. <laughs> Immediately reconsidered there. Upon seeing millions and millions of those dolls. It seems like we're going to have to explore the entirety of this level before we encounter anything of note. Finally. Now let's just look for the exit. Should be somewhere around here. Oh man, I can't teleport anywhere, huh? Layout of this level. Is it this down there? Oh, okay. Whew. There we go. All right, here we are going to make another switch to Kelpie Snare because, of course, there's going to be more council members and they're going to be accompanied by the vampires. So even more sources of fire damage and the uh, vampires Emilio, of course, cannot lifesteal off of. So let's minimize the damage he is going to suffer as much as possible. All right, guys, anyone want to come in here? Blood Lord. <laughs> All right, let's let's get Emilio out of there. Like the old saying goes, full rejuve and bust a move. <laughs> All right, here comes Brem. Let's teleport Emilio out of all of these sources of fire damage. We are kind of running out of potions. So let us first refill our reserves. And do it properly. Get some full rejuves from our stockpile. Managed to <laughs> gather uh, quite a few of them. I've been sorting our stash, you know, in between episodes. Sorting them nicely there. So we have one and a half page pages full of uh, full rejuves, so it should be fine. It's just a question of being able to use them in a timely manner. Right, there we go. Small charm for our troubles, but we still have... There was a source of fanaticism aura somewhere in there. I don't think... Well, maybe it was the guy who died here. All right, now Wyand. I think he's more susceptible to cold in such situations where we have very resistant monsters. That uh, resistance reduction from cold mastery usually makes a well-aimed frozen orb. Pretty successful. All right, there we go. Another vampire special group. You know, I hate these vampires so much. 
I think we're even... Well, this guy has double immunity, so perhaps that's not the greatest idea. I was about to say that I really would like to kill them. Yeah, he's going to drain life out of Emilio. But if we keep him nicely knocked back... <laughs> you can see that he's fighting for his life there. But we're going to kill you, Bile Shank, if that's the last thing I do. I know this is a waste of time. This is not efficient, but... This is not about efficiency at this point. <laughs> oh, we ran out of mana doing telekinesis. Oh, come on. Now he's leeching a little bit more. Alright, there we go. Alright, we have... We're full on everything. Just check out this... Uh, Small charm. All right, whatever. I think we're going to keep uh, Emilio with uh, Kelpie Snare so that we can get some safe statics here. Yeah, I think Mephisto might be yeah a little bit more receptive to frozen orbs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Grand Crown. Is that Wannins? You know, let's sort our stuff now. Let's give back Emilio his insight. Kelpie Snare, well done. I think it was a worthwhile uh, swap, and it did its job there. Um, oh yeah, of course. This is nothing. Wannan's Splendor. I don't think we've had this yet. So this is going to be something to add to our collection. Can deposit it there. And here we have this... All this stuff. The Impaler. Not sure if we've had this one. If we've managed to obtain it during our previous farming sessions. Oh, let's, let's just do this as well. Pick up our stuff. It's not exactly how I wanted it. Uh, but anyway, here we can proceed. <laughs> I've just noticed that Gidbin quest that's still not fully grayed out because, of course, at the end of it you have to talk to Ashira. So let's, let's, I guess, stay for a, a moment longer in this act. All right, now all of our quests are grayed out. We've, of course, killed all of the super uniques along the way. And as we will see in just a moment, we have managed to flag all of the waypoints as well. So the only thing left for us now is to finally progress to act four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess now we can breathe a sigh of relief as Act 3 is done. <laughs> of course, Act 4 now will bring its own set of challenges, but we'll worry about that next time. For now, let's enjoy the fact that we won't have to see any more dolls until the end stages of Act 5, if we even get that far, that is. <laughs> Always gotta make that disclaimer. But uh, yeah, still surviving, still going strong. Let's keep on keeping on, <laughs> I guess, and uh, for now, uh, as I am overjoyed about this, uh, the fact that Act 3 is no more. <laughs> uh, let us leave on that uh, positive note. Uh, I'll thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.